What's going on Dominators, Eldar here. I'm super excited to go over this uh, video series that I'm going to do for you. This is designed for home business, uh, businesses that are looking to do their own SEO and looking to work on their own website and their own uh, Google Maps to be able to push it through the ranking to get more leads. Obviously, this is our goal. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that using Local Dominator and Local Wiz app with some other tools and resources that we have for you. Uh, through this series, we're going to go through all of the things that you need to do to be able to optimize your Google listing and your website to be able to obtain higher rankings. And I'm gonna show you stuff that are super cool, super easy to do. Everything will be over the shoulder. You can get those things done very quickly, even if you don't have past experience. And that's the biggest key here. You can do this thing. Um, somebody that works in the office, a dispatch, an office manager, everybody can do that. We have used this program thousands of times and it works like a charm, but it's not gonna work unless you're going to do it. So I'm gonna show you all the steps. It's gonna be a series. Um, as you know, when you're optimizing Google, it's not just click and your website is going to rank number one, unless you're going to make very spammy changes like changing the name. But if you're actually working on your Google My Business and you're working on your website, these things takes time and it's compounding actions one on top of the other that will eventually get you the rankings. How soon are you going to start seeing results? Usually within several weeks, you're gonna start seeing some movement, you're gonna see some traffic in your search console, but obviously to dominate your market is gonna take some time. You're gonna to have to bypass your competitors at the corner, and I'm gonna show you how you can do that using this program. This program have a bunch of perks. It's very important for you to be a part of the community and part of the program to get the maximum results and the maximum effect out of it. So on top of this video that you're watching, on top of the actions that you're going to take on your website and your Google My Business that I'm gonna share with you, I also want you to be active in the community, ask questions as needed, and eventually together, we'll be able to help you to get your business to be on the top of Google so you can get more leads. So it's super exciting. I, you should be excited. I'm excited because this can change everything. And I'll, I'll share another thing. In my background, I was a garage door technician seven years ago, and I've kind of done the same thing that you're doing right now. I started to work on my own business because I couldn't trust other marketing agencies, and I wanted to do it on my own. Call me a control freak? I don't think so, but call me freak about my business? Absolutely. My business is the most important thing because it takes care of my family, take care of everything that I need. So I wanna make sure that my business is well taken care of. So from a garage door technician, I turned to become a marketing agency owner after a little bit because of the things that I've been doing. And now we have the software, a bunch of other stuff. I still have my home service businesses, quite a few of them. And I'm gonna share the stuff that I do in my businesses so you can do the same using our programs. So let's get things going. And the first thing we're going to do, we're gonna start with Local Dominator. Now I'm going to grab a business that I have for Legion purposes, and we're going to use this as a reference. Most likely this will be trashed as soon as I'm gonna have this live, uh, <laughs> but I'll, I'll risk that, uh, that business. So let me uh, find it and then I'll show you what we're going to do with Local Dominator. All right, so this is the business that I'm going to use for the demonstration purposes. It's called Amore Plumbing Services. The first thing that we need to do, we need to start tracking our keywords and understand what is it that we are going after. That's the first thing that we wanna do. Now, in order to get keywords, we're not gonna do anything complicated. We're going to use ChatGPT or Gemini. You can use uh, Claude or whatever it is. You can use the free version. You do not need to have a paid version. And I'm gonna give you the prompt that will give you the stuff that you need, all right? So let's grab that. So this is the prompt that we're going to use. And we have so much great content in the group, like so many things. You gotta go through this thing, you'll get gold. But I'm gonna start using uh, this prompt here, okay? This is basically what I need. And we're gonna use ChatGPT. So in ChatGPT, you're going to paste this prompt here. And I'm gonna go for 20 keywords, okay? That's all I'm going for right now. 
and I'm gonna give this the URL, I'm gonna give this my location that I wanna target, I'm gonna give this my services, so let's uh, start filling this up. Um, I'll fill this up and I'll be right back, and then we have the specific uh, services. So let's get this thing done. All right, so this is my prompt here. I've uh, added all the variables. This one is a little tricky situation because I'm gonna try to rank this thing for two cities, one by one, Santan Valley and Queen Creek. So I'm gonna go for double down in here. Um, and yeah, we can go for one. It's always best if you go for one, but this is right there on their border. So I'm just gonna go for both of those. And let's give this thing the, uh, the time to create what we are looking for. This should take just a moment. Uh, let's see what we got. So it's searching, it's figuring it out, it's searching other websites, and now it's going to give us basically all of the keywords that we are looking to use. So now watch this. What I have here, um, I have keywords for Santan Valley and keywords for Queen Creek. Now, I did make this a little complicated because I'm working on two cities here, but I'm just gonna make this for one city and then I'm just gonna use the other one. So let's uh, let's just um, give me the keywords in a list for just, I'm gonna start with Santan Valley, okay? And I'm gonna show you what we're going to do with that. Now, based on this, you can kind of see what's the traffic and you can see what's the cost per keyword. So um, this basically gives you a good indication of what is it that you want. Now in here, you can kind of see all of the stuff uh, that you have. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start plugging this into local dominator. One more thing that I need, I just need this thing in a phrase actually um, with a comma off, after it so I can add everything in bulk. So I'm gonna go in here and let me just write this down, make it in a phrase with between each keyword. All right. All right, let's give this a sec. Beautiful, that's all I need for now. Um, now I can add more things, right? I can add more stuff to it, but essentially, um, this is what I'm going to target. So let me move this thing away. And we're gonna add more, more stuff in just a second, so no worries. Now I'm gonna use the reoccurring and I'm gonna start new scanning here. And I'm gonna grab this business. Now because this business is a service area business, then it's not gonna show up here at the dropdown. So I'm gonna use the CID link. In order to do that, you have to go to uh, the maps and you can just grab this URL from here. Uh, this is a good idea to do, it's actually the easiest. Or you can use the CID link, which you can get with the Chrome extension. Um, let me just show you how this will pop. Once you add this thing here, you just need to click somewhere and give this a few moments to populate. Um, as I said, the CID is usually works better. You do need to have a Chrome extension. Um, it's called this. Let's uh, pull this up here, just like that. Oh, that might not work because I didn't have uh, an address picked up. So let me actually zoom in, just like that. All right, now I can grab this. Let me paste this and then just click somewhere and now it should work. Let's give this a sec, there we go. So this is my business. Now because this is a service area business, Google usually throw it somewhere that is not really the area. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move this thing. I'm just gonna drag it to my service area, which is right here. Um, you can kind of see this is Queen Creek and this is Suntan Valley and we cover both of them. So I'm just gonna put this kind of like on both of them, kind of like in, right there in the middle. All right, so I like this the way it is. And now I'm gonna grab my keywords. So I'm just gonna grab my keywords here into this and I'm gonna hit enter. This will add all of my keywords into my scan. I'm gonna make this thing to run uh, weekly or bi-weekly, it really comes down to my credits and all of those things. Uh, but usually I like to run this weekly. So I'm gonna save this scan here and I'm gonna make this run now. All right, um, let's go to the history and take a look. Beautiful, now it's running all of those keywords for me here. See, this will take um, 1,400 every week, okay? So it's like, um, you know, 6,000 credits a month. Now I'm gonna set up a couple more of those scans. I'm gonna set up another scan without 
the uh, the keyword modifier of the city. So I'm going to go back to ChatGPT here, and I'm going to say, now give me this um, phrase without the city in the keywords. Now, the reason I want to do that is because I also want to um, look at my keywords and see which of my keywords is actually moving without the CD modifier because I'm going for two CDs here. So it's super important that I can also understand those without a CD modifier. Now, I can also see that there is a couple of stuff here that, um, that wasn't added and I'm going to add those. So plumber, plumber, uh, plumber service, plumbing services, more basic. And it really comes down to the prompt. You can kind of change this thing and make it give you uh, more basic uh, more basic keywords. All right, this one is still thinking for some reason. Maybe I got some internet issues. Uh, let's refresh. This should take about two, three minutes. All right, so this is done. As you can see, my average score here is quite awful. Let's take a look and see. So what you can see here, we're not ranking for anything. The only thing we have some decent ranking is drain cleaning in scent and valley and that's kind of like the service right so if somebody physically stands right here where it says number nine then you know they're going to rank like they're going to uh, show number nine on google search right google maps will show and you can click on this and you can also see who are your top competitors so this is a more plumbing and this is the rest of the people and you can kind of see these guys see they have much better rankings right they're uh, significantly better but our client or our business here doesn't have much uh, rankings and we're gonna fix that, all right? Now, ChatGPT is done. Um, this is this. I'm also gonna tell him to also, please also, please add to this list, uh, just so I can have more basic keywords. Plumber near me, plumbing services. Uh, this should be good. So. Um, that's kind of like what we what we're gonna target here so this is good and again you need to make sure that this works and this is the services that you provide so now that I have this I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna click duplicate I'm basically gonna duplicate the whole thing just gonna make things a lot easier for me um, and I'm just gonna remove all of those keywords real quick just like that okay because I want to run a fresh scan we go I'm gonna paste this here just like that and then I'm gonna run this also on weekly all right now the last thing that I want to do is I also want to do the same thing for Queen Creek right so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say now give me the list with Queen Creek at the end of well maybe now add Queen Creek to each keyword. All right, so now it's gonna give me another variation of that for Queen Creek, all right? So guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna duplicate this again, and I'm gonna make this for Queen Creek, right? Because that's kind of what I need to do in here, because I wanna have three of those scans running. So I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna go back to the listing, this one. And I'm going to duplicate this again. And let's remove all my keywords here. Just like so. Beautiful. Now I'm going to paste this for Queen Creek. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm just going to do save. All right. This is also weekly. Now, when you go back to the history, you can also see that this will take. Um, about let's say let me run some numbers on that real quick so this will be one eight six two plus one eight uh, six two twice right uh, plus one four six three so this will take this on a on a weekly basis um, and then if I make this 0.42 so this will cost this much credits. With this plan, I only get 15. So 
um, I'm probably going to remove some of the keywords or instead of making it 13 by 13 here in the search um, right right here I'm gonna make this 11 by 11 which just makes it a little bit smaller um, so you can play with that as long as it's within your um, you know your plan so now what's the next step so now I have all of those cans you can see really here like really quick in a glance oops this gets us to the graph um, you can see in a glance like average 19 19 19 this sucks like I have no rankings like how do I fix this this is where local Wiz app comes in and this is where local Wiz app can change everything and help you to optimize your website so um, this is how you do the first setup the next video I'm gonna show you how we can start optimizing our business and we're gonna dive into a bunch of stuff so stay tuned because this is gonna be pretty exciting so see you in the next video bye bye